Together after the loss of one of the high school teachers, a 40-year-old died in her sleep on Thursday. Everywhere at 5, our senior New Yorkers live in Seoul and checking in to see how the students are handling all this. Tough day, Sia. Tiffany, I'm told that the students and the teachers here are really taking this hard, this tragic loss. In fact, there are professionals here trying to guide them through this loss. Crystal says Petey's made an impact, some calling her one of the best teachers they've ever had. Sadly, the 40-year-old woman died in her sleep unexpectedly last week. Says Petey's worked at the Solon City School District for 15 years, teaching environmental science and chemistry. School administrators sent students and parents an email Thursday evening saying that tragedy had struck their community. The most important thing we can do is to be supportive and encourage an open expression of feelings. School officials declined an on-camera interview, but tell 19 News that since the unexpected loss, they brought in mental health professionals and a crisis and counseling team for students. They're asking for prayers for her family and the high school community during this time. Says Petey's leaves behind her wife and a nine-year-old son. Condolences have been pouring in online, and family members started an education fund via GoFundMe that will provide educational opportunities for her son. That GoFundMe now raising more than $23,000. Many saying that Cespedes will be greatly missed. Tiffany. All right, Sia, thank you so much for that report. We have new details.